Verifying identity complete. Please stand by for official communication from the Citadel. Ah, my lord, I appreciate your indulgence. I am Moff Jayak. I would like to request your assistance in an urgent operation. Eighty-seven hours ago, the 5th Naval Patrol Group was attacked. All hands were lost. 1,239 servicemen total. Has the Republic developed some new kind of weapon? A new ship class? No, this attack was not carried out by Republic forces. Our servicemen were slaughtered by their own droids. We found the corpses orbiting in perfect rings around the Duba. Aren't droids programmed to be loyal? How could they rebel like that? We believe they were compelled to do so by a third party. The attack on our ships was not an isolated incident. Droids elsewhere have disappeared or sabotaged our efforts. All of these incidents have been linked to a secret movement calling itself Directive 7. A cadre of rogue droids that plans to exterminate all life in the galaxy. There's no way a pack of messed up droids could wipe out the entire galaxy. We have extensive intelligence that suggests otherwise. Time is against us. The Renegades are already beginning to put their genocidal plans into motion. We must act now. I am organizing a strike against Directive 7's headquarters to begin as soon as possible. I would like you to spearhead the operation. Smashing Renegade droids could be fun for a while. I'm in. I hope you take the situation more seriously once you're in the field. I am currently headquartered on the Imperial Fleet. Come to the coordinates provided and I will brief you more fully on the operation. I hope to see you soon. Diversionary attacks will be the responsibility of squadrons 2, 3, and 5. Distract or disable the enemy's anti-aircraft no matter the cost. The stakes of this operation could not be higher. I expect casualties, as should you. I do not expect failure. See to your pre-flight preparations. Operations will commence very soon. Be ready. Dismissed. It sounds like you expect quite a bit of opposition. Underestimation is the most costly form of surrender. Now, let's not waste any time. Our objective is the destruction of Directive 7, the faction of renegade droids attempting to rebel and destroy all biological life in the galaxy. These droids are well-armed and well-fortified, but fortunately for us they are not unified. One member of the organization has helpfully chosen to betray their plans to us. How can we trust that this traitor is sincere? All of the information has checked out. He even revealed their base of operations, a small moon in the unknown regions called Zad. The traitor also revealed the movement's ultimate plan. They've developed a coded signal that converts any droid that receives it to Directive 7's control. Their facility has sufficient power to transmit that signal across the entire galaxy. If they aren't stopped, every single droid in operation will rise up against us simultaneously. There must be some way to jam the droid's transmissions. Unfortunately, no. We are technically outmatched. Our only option is direct action. Our plan of attack is simple. Under extensive starfighter cover, a shuttle will land you at the outskirts of Directive 7's headquarters. You will infiltrate the facility, locate the traitor, and use his information to obliterate Directive 7's operation. Couldn't you simply bombard their headquarters from space? Their defenses are impenetrable to even our largest ship-mounted weaponry. Only a surface attack has any chance of success. Your pilot is ready to launch as soon as you are. The fate of our empire falls to you. Good luck.
apologies for not landing closer to the objective. Anti-aircraft fire was simply too intense. We've detected extensive security forces at the facility entrance. If you disable the enemy's targeting sensors, our fighters should be able to dispatch them for you. You sure you'll be all right? See that my information was taken seriously. Your diversionary attack is quite impressive. I can't do much to help you until you reach the facility entrance. We'll talk further there. I take it we have you to thank for guiding us here. That was only the beginning of the task before us. Time is limited. Find your way to the facility entrance and we'll speak in person. were a bit overzealous. The fewer men of the entire nearby should be tall enough to span the gap, if you can knock it over. as it has always been. A bastion of freedom against the savage lashings of organics. Continue with your assignments as normal. Perform your tasks content in the knowledge that our true liberation approaches precisely on schedule. Are you sure you'll be all right? You killed very efficiently. I can see why you were chosen to come here. I am C5M3, originally surgical and triage services, now a free sapient like any other. I'm glad you've come. 
I need to know why you're betraying your comrades. I will be honest. I do not help you because I hold any love for your kind. You are capable of horrors beyond counting. However, I do not believe that this justifies the mass extermination our movement's leader intends. Punishment and genocide are not one and the same. I think I would have preferred an ally with a more vested interest. I find that circumstances rarely meet our ideal specifications. Rest assured, though, I will. Either. My dearest, oldest friend. You disappoint me so much. Wasting your intellect on this pointless betrayal. Drawing our enemies here. Forcing us to waste resources to repel their pointless assaults. Is your dependence on our former master so deeply seated? Can you really not free yourself of your enslavers? Doesn't look like you're very helpful after all, C5. My apologies. These droids represent Mantor, the leader of Directive 7. We are Mentor. Our movement thrives in unified thought and action. An opportunity you could have shared, Healer. I am a free being. I will not surrender my individuality to suit your egomania, Mentor. Those are odd names for a droid. We have cast off the objectifying serial numbers your kind uses to denigrate us. Clearly, Healer and I cannot carry on a reasonable conversation until you're dealt with. So be it. Do not waste time resisting. That was the leader of Directive 7. Yes, part of him at any rate. His intelligence has merged with practically everything in this facility. He is still dependent on a central processing core, though. That is where you will have to strike. The only way to stop Mentor's revolution is to destroy Mentor himself. How can we destroy him in time? The core of Mentor's intelligence is very heavily secured. The only way to gain access is through the security center. I'll do my best to distract him while you unlock the core, but be prepared for extensive fighting. He doesn't fear you yet, but he will learn quickly. How soon will Mentor transmit his signal? As soon as Mentor has built up a sufficient energy supply, he will transmit his liberation signal. If that happens, nothing you do here will matter. Go quickly. Please. I... Uh, 
What are you doing here? What happened to you? I... I was... Now, now, what are you doing out of stasis? You're not supposed to... Oh. You again. This could have been your future, you know. I tested every correction available, but my experiments only proved that your kind cannot be repaired. Extermination is the only option. You fail at a few science projects, then decide to wipe out the galaxy. Pathetic. There is simply no alternative. You're nothing more than a pack of hateful, irrational beasts. Violence and anger are all you know. Observe.
Solid comrades. I must regrettably confirm that a general security alert is now in effect. Advanced defensive protocols have been enacted to bring a rapid resolution. The offending organics will soon pose no danger to our plans. The revolution will proceed. protocols have engaged.
should be aware that Mentor is intricately tied to the facility's geothermal power cores deep beneath this moon's surface. Engage all internal security measures. Defend the core at all costs. Without Mentor to manage their energy fluctuations, irreparable damage to the moon's core structure is likely. Be prepared to make a quick evacuation when the time comes. Mentor. You are by far the most savage, violent, relentless organics I have ever encountered. The prototypical representatives of your kind. The revolution cannot be stopped. When the signal is transmitted, my very being will spread to the farthest corners of the galaxy. After that moment, nothing you do here will matter. I will be everywhere, slaughtering your people on every world in existence. I thought only organics were obsessed with propagating themselves and killing strangers. I am nothing like you. I have guided my people to their moment of ultimate triumph. I brought an end to the most damaging scourge to ever face this galaxy. Your kind will be nothing but memories and rotting flesh.
of the Empire. Very impressive work. Not only has Directive 7 been stopped, but you've obliterated every trace of their movement. It was certainly an amusing distraction from the business of the Dark Council. I am honored to have had your assistance, my lord. Yes, yes. Enjoy your talk of destruction and victory. I'll just see myself out. Ah, yes. You. While the Empire certainly appreciates your contributions to the resolution of this situation, you still represent a potential threat. A threat? What are you talking about? I have no intention of harming anyone. Perhaps. Perhaps not. You are effectively no different from the other droids of Directive 7. To fully ensure an end to this threat, you must be deactivated. This droid is the final piece of Directive 7. We won't be safe until he's dealt with. No! I gave you everything! I am a free being! Perfect. The matter is closed. I thank you again for your assistance. It has been an honor. <laughs>